Welcome back everyone. This is a brief update on news from the oil market. In the previous days, Mike Pompeo, the United States Secretary of State, announced his country will not be giving any more exceptions to other countries purchasing Iranian oil. The announcement indirectly stated that all countries doing business with Iran will be charged with tariffs. Oil prices did get some support upon release of the news, yet a deeper investigation should be made in order to see how other oil players react to the outcome of the happening. When the news was publicized, the headlines included information on what steps would be taken further to cover for any loss of supply. This helped oil prices to avoid any large spikes that would usually appear during such announcements. Specifically, Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates are said to be stepping in, along with the US, to cover the oil gap created. However, the Saudis could be waiting for solid data confirming Iran's oil shipments have dropped in order to enforce extra production. However, the fact remains that by the 2nd of May, waivers provided to eight countries will not apply anymore, and we will need to wait until then to see how much oil needs to be supplied. In China, Asia's largest refiner, Sinopec, will be restarting its US crude oil cargo shipments this week after imports were ceased September 2018. Both sides may see this as a rising opportunity to help each other, as trade talks between the two world's largest economies have progressed. We see the case for the US to continue to send more oil to China in the near future, as they both act as a perfect supplier and purchaser for each other. On other news in Venezuela, oil production has dropped to significantly low levels, forcing the Latin American country to import crude oil for the first time in five years. In the past days, the market sentiment for oil prices has turned more optimistic as oil traders are betting on further price increases and an overview for 2019 indicates that oil rally posted its best quarter since 2009. However, we believe more action in the WTI market could prevail as we enter May due to various fundamentals being in a wait-and-see situation. For more in-depth investigation, please refer to our written report, which also includes technical analysis. For more information and trading ideas, you can visit our webpage, follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, or subscribe to our YouTube channel. This is Peter Yosef, Senior Analyst from Iron Facts, wishing you solid trading.